Micah Frankel for CageMinds.com. Right now, we're going to welcome in Lookout PFS coach, amateur mixed martial artist, Matt Goudelet. Thank you for the time. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for having me on, man. Appreciate it. It's been a while. Your return been to the cage. Long. Been forever. <laughs> How's been it feel having a fight long. on the plate? Yeah. Oh, man, it's been so long, man. Just, you know, injuries happen, changed gyms, just a lot of things, man. Just still staying busy, but, you know, fight game's crazy like that. Fight game's crazy like that. So how excited are you just, just to be getting back in it? Oh, man, I'm chomping at the bit. You know, I've been I've been helping training a lot of guys lately and just getting everybody ready, man. It's just been driving me to get my myself back in there. You know, it's just it feels good, man. It feels great. Are there some events than others that are harder to just be in the corner, to be there thinking, I should be in there competing? Oh, yeah, man. You know, it... it the way it works sometimes, you know, I get an offer with the guys too, but it's hard to coach and fight on the same card with the guys. So, you know, I, I want to be there on all these cards, but I also have a few of our fighters on there. And it's, you know, it's really hard to sit back and watch them, even though I love to coach, I love to help these guys, but, you know, I still want to do it too. Coming up ahead of you, April 2nd, Las Cruces, New Mexico, Southwest Brawl 3, Will Crusher, Crusher the opponent, can't find anything about him online. So, what kind of mindset do you take into this fight? Um, the mindset is, you know, I think everybody's tough. I think everybody's gonna come to fight. I have to be ready at all places that the fight game's gonna go. So, even though I know nothing about him, I treat him like he's a experienced martial artist. All right. Uh, you know, the way I see it, when I can't find info on anybody, I just treat it like they're a well-experienced mixed martial artist that, you know, that I have to be prepared for whatever since I don't know. So I just concentrate on my game, I get myself ready, and expect a really tough fighter. So was there ever a point with all the coaching you were doing that you were, that there was a thought of competing being over and just engulfing yourself in the coaching role? You know, not necessarily. When when I when I got into a lot of the coaching, I was nursing a couple of injuries. I went to a couple of jiu-jitsu tournaments and hurt my shoulder and just a couple of little things like that. And, you know, I always still wanted to fight, but I just knew I'm not the type to get in there and hurt. I wanted to make sure I'm ready and I'm right to go. And then having this coaching role, what has that done to open your eyes for your own game? Oh, man, you know, it... it I, I study mixed martial arts, you know, I study all combat sports and just to be able to take myself out of the fighter role and look at it from a coach perspective is, is such an eye opening thing. It has definitely helped me out and, um, you know, it's pushed me along the way too to know that, yeah, I'm learning and I'm, I'm coaching and everything, but I still have to get myself better as well. Since June of 2014 is when you made that amateur debut. It's been so long. What are the biggest differences we're going to see in your game? Oh, man. I'm just trying to polish everything up, man. I'm not trying to be just a wrestler. I'm not trying to be just that guy. I want to be able to do everything. I'm, I don't want to just rely on one thing, you know. This, this game is moving so fast that if you're not well prepared in every area, it's not going to matter. And right now we're doing this interview over the phone because Matt is finishing up this training camp out in Texas with Team Takedown. We know Coach Josh Lanier is the one that took you out there for this. So what's it like at Team Takedown and getting back under your old sensei? Oh, man, you know, Team Takedown is so amazing. It's such a great facility. There's amazing people there. It's just top-notch program. And, you know, the icing on it is I come out here and I get to get with my coach, my professor, and it's just... You know, exactly what I needed to finish my camp off, get the game plan right, and just get with somebody I'm so familiar with. He's like a brother to me, you know, so just coming out here and getting to work with him is a blessing. You know, I cherish this moment that I'm out here with him. A couple weeks ago, Lookout scored a big upset win. Marquis Smith, what has it been like for him? Because I know you guys transition from Lovato's to Lookouts together. What is that relationship? And seeing a guy that I've seen you work mitts with and the, you know, leaps and bounds he's taken in his game. Oh, man, you know, it, that's one of the beauties of coaching is seeing a young man who already had the talent and already was there, but to finally make the mindset right and put it all together and 
commit himself fully to this. Like, you know, and the results speak for themselves, you know. We beat a very, very tough opponent in Jesse Tafoya, you know, one of the best out there. And and seeing Marquise make that transition from a young man, you know, dab- dabbling in the fight game to committing to it fully is just, you know, that's what it's all about, man. Seeing young men compete at their best. I love it. And now, how does that motivate you? We've been seeing you in the corners a lot here. Uh, Fernando, Marquise, Casey. How much does that push you in your camp? You're like, oh, it's going to be my turn soon. Oh, yeah, man. You know, seeing them get ready, seeing them prepare themselves for a fight, seeing all that just makes me want to do it too, you know. I know what they're going through and, and knowing the grind and what you got to deal with and everything. It just motivates me so much to get back in there and train as hard as I can and get right. It's just, you know, it, it, it goes hand in hand. I think, you know, it's hard to coach and be on the same card, but to be able to coach, then have my time to train for my fight. It's just, it's so awesome. I love it. And then from the gym, I'm guessing you're the only representative at Southwest brawl three in action. Yes, sir. That's it, man. I'm the only guy on there. You know, we kind of set it up that way. It's, I, I found that it's really hard to, coach and fight at the same time you know i don't i don't know how many people can do it but i know that i have to get myself ready for my fight away from the coaching so i kind of we kind of set it up this way me get myself on this card and that way i can concentrate on myself for a little while so do you have any thoughts of with the layoff and everything getting over excited about this oh for sure you know I, i have to remind myself it's been so long that there might be some of those nerves still there you know but between the rounds I'm getting out there in Albuquerque and now just coming out here and just seeing a polished camp, you know, how they run in, how everything works out here and how Josh in there, you know, he's just the mastermind behind it all. Working with him, I'm just so confident. I just feel so great. I feel, you know, it's, it's exactly what I needed to finish off my camp. We've seen the grappling. We've seen the wrestling out of you. Where do you feel the striking is coming this time? You know, um, that's the thing, you know, I I worked on my striking before, but I wanted to wrestle everybody. I wanted to get everybody to the ground. Now, lately, just working so much on trying to make everything crisper, making everything put it together. That way, it's not just a striking end of the take. Now, it's flowing. Everything's flowing. I'm starting to get a little better at putting it all together. That's That's been the main goal of this camp is putting the striking with the wrestling, with the, with the submissions. Southwest Brawl 3 again, April 2nd. We had some time to catch up with Matt Goudelet while well, he's finishing up with Team Takedown. What's your message for the fans? Oh, man, I'm excited to get back in there. I'm excited to finally put those gloves on again and step back in there and just go to battle, man. Um, I'm just ready for it. I've been dying for it. I know I have a lot of family out there. Everybody's been asking me every day, every day, when are you fighting, when are you fighting? Well, I'm finally getting in there, and it's going to happen now. And then last thing, who you got to shout out to? Oh, man, just, you know, everybody at Albuquerque, at Lookouts PFS, all my fellas, everybody's out there doing work. You know, I want them to know I'm out here doing work, too. Josh Lanier, you know, everybody everybody knows who Josh is, and it's just an honor I get to come back out here and work with him. It's my brother. Matt Goodway, thank you for the time, sir. Thank you, man.